Hi, today we are going to learn how to add temporary locations, polygons and time-based location layers on the map. CM Map Locations allows you and your users to create and showcase locations in Google Maps, including images and notes for each. It is also possible to add temporary locations, polygons and time-based location layers on the map using REST API. The CM Send User Location add-on helps to simplify work and create and configure a button that adds your current location on a map instead of using REST API. We recommend you to configure the base plugin first, as in this example use case video will cover only how to add temporary locations, polygons and time-based location layers on the map. First of all, you need to generate REST API and configure the plugin. To do this, navigate to CM Map Locations Pro Settings Setup tab. Find the section Location REST API. There you need to turn on the option Enable REST API and then click the button Generate Key. The key will appear in the field API key for adding location via REST API. A few more useful options here. Enter the IP from which you can connect. Leaving it empty allows connections from any IP. This might be not secure. To add multiple IPs, separate them with commas. Create category if it doesn't exist. Enable it to let the plugin create a category for location if it doesn't exist. Don't add locations with the same name. Enable it to prevent the plugin from creating locations with repeated names. Then click the button Save to save the changes. Copy the API key that you generated, then navigate to CM Send User Location. Under the General tab, include the key you just copied to the field API key and the server address attached to it to the field Server Address. Also choose if you want to include the name field and the description field near the button or not. Under the Google Maps section you can configure adding temporary locations. Enable Google Map. Enabling this option can solve some conflicts with other plugins or themes that also include the Google Maps API on each page, like GeoDirectory. Google Maps App Key. Here you need to enter the Google Maps Server App Key. To get it, click on the link and follow the instructions provided by the Google service. Disable Embedding Google Maps JS API. Enabling this option can solve some conflicts with other plugins or themes that also include the Google Maps API on each page, like GeoDirectory. Default Locations Latitude. Enter the latitude of the default location shown in the editor. Default Locations Longitude. Enter the longitude of the default location shown in the editor. Default Zoom. Choose default value of zooming in the editor. Greater number means closer zooming. When you finish configuring the add-on, don't forget to save the changes by clicking the button Save. First case that we will consider is adding temporary locations. Posted temporary locations will be displayed on the map only for some definite period of time and after that they disappear. We can add that kind of locations in two ways, using REST API or using the add-on CM Send User Location. But first we need to configure a few options for this. Navigate to CM Map Locations Pro, Settings, User Tracking tab. Scroll down to the section Temporary Locations. There you can find the following options. Display temporary locations on index page map. If enabled, then user posted temporary locations will be shown on locations index page map. Locations icon URL. Put here a URL to the locations icon. Display tooltip on marker. If enabled, then a tooltip will be shown on the marker when the user clicks on it. Template for the temporary location info window content. You can use HTML to customize this template. It also supports the shortcodes that you can see on the screen. Locations expire time. Choose locations expire time between 12, 24 or 48 hours. Reset Temporary Location Table. Click it to delete all temporary location entries from the table. When configuring the options is done, it's time to add our first temporary location. First method we will consider is using REST API. We need to use a URL with a structure that you can see on the screen. The underlined green elements can be customized with the following parameters. Username. Name of the user can be anything and not related to a WordPress user. IP – IP address Description – can be any text Latitude – this parameter is needed to pass temporary location Longitude – this parameter is needed to pass temporary location. To define your current coordinates you can use external services. BG color – use marker label background color. 
you can add it with or without the hashtag symbol. BG color label. User marker label background color text. You can add any text like red, green, blue, and this is used in the filter. Key. Has to match the key set in the plugin settings. Example with attributes for posting temporary location is shown on the screen. Let's add the URL to the address bar. We will see a message that the location is successfully added. We can see the result on the front end on the index map. Second method for adding temporary locations is using the add-on. The add-on allows creating a form with a button for this. It's simple, just apply the shortcode CM user location. The shortcode has the following parameters. API – API key Server – Server address, which runs the API key Identifier – You can pass your custom identifier. In case if this parameter is empty or not added to the shortcode, the system will generate it automatically. Name enable – Name field – Set 1 to show or 0 to hide. Name – Name field default text. Description enable – Description field – set 1 to show or 0 to hide. Description – description field default text. BG color – user marker label background color. You can add it with or without the hashtag symbol. BG color label – user marker label background color text. You can add any text like red, green or blue and this is used in the filter. Button text – submit button text. If not defined, then it will be taken from Plugin Settings Labels section. User Location – Set 1 for post user current location or 0 for post temporary location. Default value is 1. Let Lawn Enable – Displays Latitude and Longitude fields. Set 1 to show or 0 to hide. Latitude – Latitude field default value. Longitude – Longitude field default value. Drawing Displays Polygon Draw tool on the map. Set 1 to show or 0 to hide. Default value is 0. Current location. Displays current location button. Set 1 to show or 0 to hide. Default value is 0. So, to create a button for adding temporary location, let's use the shortcode that you can see on the screen. Now it's time to take a smartphone and go for a walk to test our application and check how it works. The location marker is set according to the default coordinates that are set in the add-on settings. To define current position, the user needs to click on the current location icon above the map. Then tap on the button Push Me. You will see a message Location successfully submitted. Let's check this location on the map. Second case that we will consider is adding temporary polygons. Posted temporary polygons will be displayed on the map only for some definite period of time and after that they disappear. We can add that kind of polygons in two ways. Using REST API or using the add-on CM Send User Location. But first we need to configure a few options for this. Navigate to Settings – User Tracking tab. Scroll down to the section Temporary Polygons. There you can find the following options. Display temporary polygons on index page map. If enabled, then user posted temporary polygons will be shown on locations index page map. Display tooltip on polygon. If enabled, then a tooltip will be shown on polygon when user clicks on it. Template for the temporary polygon info window content. You can use HTML and the shortcodes that you can see on the screen. Polygons expire time. Choose polygons expire time between 12, 24 or 48 hours. Reset temporary polygon table. Click it to delete all temporary polygon entries from the table. Then click the button Save. Now it's time to add our first temporary polygon. We need to use a URL with a structure that you can see on the screen. The underlined green elements can be customized. The parameters are Username Name of user can be anything and not related to a WordPress user. IP IP address Description Can be any text. Type equals zero. This parameter is needed to pass temporary location and polygon. Latitude and longitude. These parameters are needed to pass temporary location. Polygon. The client needs to pass coordinates. Each vertex of the polygon should pass coordinates in brackets, as an example on the screen. Have a note that there must be a space after comma. So, for example, if we need to pass a polygon with a triangle form, the parameter should look like it's shown in the example on the screen. BG color, user marker label background color. 
You can add it with or without the hashtag symbol. BG color label. User marker label background color text. You can add any text like red, green, blue, and this is used in the filter. Key has to match the key in the plugin settings. Example with attributes for posting temporary polygon is shown on the screen. Let's add this URL to the address bar. We will see a message that the location is successfully added. We can see the result on the front end on the index map. To add temporary polygons using add-on, we need to create a form with a button for this. We can do it in the same way as for adding temporary location by applying the shortcode CM user location. So the shortcode will look like almost the same, we will just add one more parameter, drawing equals 1, to have the ability to draw polygons. Drawing tools are presented in three icons. Polygon icon. Click to start drawing a polygon. Hand icon. Click to stop drawing a polygon. Trash icon. Click to delete drawn polygon. Now let's draw our first polygon. When we finish and tap on the button Push Me, we will see a message that the location was successfully added. Let's check this polygon on the map. Temporary locations and temporary polygons disappear from the map after a definite period of time that you set in plugin settings. If you don't reset tables with stored locations, it is possible to check all these locations for past days using get parameters from date and to date. Date format is day, month, year. To add get parameter to the URL, we should put a question symbol, and to use more than one get parameter, we need to add a symbol ampersand before each additional get parameter. For example, we want to check all temporary locations for the specific period of time. So after adding get parameters, the link should look like as in the example on the screen. You can add some links to your page with predefined get parameters to let users have a quick access to the locations for certain dates. And users can look for other dates just by changing the date parameters in the URL. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to add temporary locations, polygons and time-based location layers on the map. Thanks for watching the video! 